For the first time, DTE's top leaders are all in West Michigan. 150 of the company's heavy hitters chose Grand Rapids for the triannual leadership conference. So we jumped at the chance to speak with the company's CEO about saving you money this winter, considering how much we dished out last winter in heating costs. You dug and slid through the snow this past winter. Grand Rapids had the second snowiest winter on record with 116 inches. Your heaters worked overtime. You lead the company that we look to to save us money when it comes to heating our homes. We sure are. I sat down with DTE Energy President Mark Steers. But how do we know that your company is being fair with prices? As I mentioned, we have uh, a program that ensures that we don't see the volatility associated with uh, weather uh, uh, incidents. Steer says DTE also donated $5 million in January to help customers. Now company leaders are in West Michigan where it hopes to grow, meaning more efficient and cost-effective service here. I could talk about some of our infrastructure in Western Michigan being of a vintage that we're having to replace it. Uh, so if you see our trucks and we're pulling up Maine down the street, that's a good thing. DTE has 300,000 customers in western Michigan. Company leaders are also meeting with business and political leaders this week, hoping to strengthen partnerships in our area.